everyone in today's video we will be recreating a vox style animation from scratch one important thing to note before we begin is that all the assets i will be using throughout this tutorial are available for free on my whatsapp channel you can find the link in the description below now without any delay let's get started first we will begin by creating a background to do this add a new text layer delete the default text and press the windows key and the dot key at the same time this will open the emojis and symbol section from here select a scale shape from symbols and scale it up so that it fills the entire screen area extend the length of this layer to match the full duration of your video after that right click on the layer and select make compound clip apply the dark knight effect to this layer and tweak its properties until you achieve the desired visual appearance Next we will move on to creating a horizontal line to do that add a new text layer and type in dashes instead of actual words Change the color of the text to black and reduce the number of dashes by going to characters until they form a clean and thin horizontal line position the line wherever you want it to appear on the screen now we are going to add small squares along the line. Add another text layer, insert square symbols again, make them small and place them directly on the line. These will act as markers. Then add another text layer and once again press windows plus dot key to bring up the emoji panel and symbols panel. This time choose a circle symbol and change its color to whatever you prefer. Care multiple copies of circle and position each one above the small scales on the line. Now that the line and the squares are placed properly, group them together to make them a compound clip. Next add numbers to each circle. For this create a new text layer, type in numbers, change their color to black and position each number on the top of corresponding circle so it's clearly visible. Then take each circle along with its number and convert them into individual compound clips. Repeat this process for all circles so each has its own compound clip. Once that's done we will move on to animating the scene. Start by selecting the line compound clip and add a transform keyframe at the beginning. Move a few frames forward in the timeline and drag the line layer to downward to animate it. Then select each of the circle compound clips at the start of each one, add a transform keyframe. Move forward a few frames and drag the circles into the respective final position. Position the circles so that they are stacked under each other vertically. Make sure to use preset motion curves on each animation to ensure smooth transition.
after animating the circle we will now add text label each to next one create a new text layer for each circle and write the appropriate text label position each text label next to its circle animate the text layer so that they appear with slight delay one after another to give it a clean staggered animation effect Once animated, place each text layer beneath its respective circle layer and turn each pair into a compound clip. Then trim all the layers so they end exactly where the animation stop. Now we will shift our focus to middle circle and dim the surrounding ones. Select the top and bottom circle rays and apply blend keyframes at the beginning of each. Move a few frames and reduce their opacity to 23 or, so, or any value that suits your style. Again, use preset curves to keep the transition smooth. For, for the finishing touching, we are going to add two overlays VHS and grid. First, add the VHS overlay and set its blend mode to multiply, then add the grid overlay and change its blend mode to screen. This will complete the visual styling of the animation. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like the video and follow me on Instagram for more updates and future content. And I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Goodbye.